solve the following inequality x plus 1 uh, times x minus 3 is less than 5. So first uh, let's let's make this a quadratic inequality. So let's expand this out. So if you expand this out, this is x squared. This is plus 1x minus 3x is minus 2x. Uh, minus 3 is less than equal to 5. So taking away 5 from both sides, you can say this is x squared minus 2x minus 8 is less than equal to 0. Now before I explain, now this is simple algebraic manipulation. I want you to understand this. The next step is algebraic, sorry, graphical. So if you graph this, okay, so if you graph it, it will be something like this. A quadratic equation from this I can say, just looking at this equation, I can say, your y-intercept is going to be negative 8. Okay, so because if you, your y-intercept is when x is equal to 0, so your graph, your parabola, would look somewhat like this. Okay, it's only not drawn to scale. So I can say from this that my y-intercept is going to be negative 8. So this is negative 8. Okay, so you can branch this out into two equations. So this is, you can say this is, this means two things. It's x squared minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0, or it's less than 0. This is less than or, or you can also say this is x squared minus 2x minus 8 is minus 8, minus 8 is less than 0. So let's understand this. So let's solve this. So Factorizing this, you can say this is x minus 4, x minus 4, x minus 4 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. So from this you can say x is equal to uh, negative 2 or x is equal to 4. Okay, so this is simple solving of quadratic equation. Now what does this mean graphically? This means this is your negative 2, this is negative 2, and this is plus 4. Okay, so now let's understand it uh, algebraically or graphically. So we've got, when you look at this equation, if this is solved, we know this function x squared minus 8x minus 8 is, e is equal to 0 when x is negative 2 and x is 4. That means when you put x as negative 2 in this equation, this will become 0. And if you put x equal to 4, this will become 0. So 0 times anything is 0, or anything times 0 is 0. So when x is negative 2, or x is equal to 4, this function is going to be equal to 0. Now, this is simple to remember, uh, understand. Now, when it comes to inequality, you have to understand it graphically. Now, what does this mean? This means, when is this function, or when is this parabola, becoming less than zero? That means, it's getting negative. So, I hope you understand that this gr green shaded portion, for any value of x, if you take any, this is your x and this is your y, or this is your this is your function of x squared minus 2x minus 8, or this is the value of the function. You can see the value of the function is going to be negative for this branch or this part of the graph. At negative 2 and 4, your function is becoming 0. For this part, it is always going to be negative, and for this branch, it's always going to be positive. Okay, so when you can say so let's start with positive. When is this function becoming positive? When x is less than negative 2 and when x is greater than 4. When is x equal to 0? When x is negative 2 and x is equal to 4. And when it is less than 0, that's negative, you can say when x is, you can say it is greater than, x has to be greater than negative 2 or x has to be less than 4. Or for these values of x, so let me use a different, uh, let me use this. For these values of x, whenever x is these values, how would you describe these values of x? These values of x can be described as these are x is less than 4 
or x is greater than negative 2. So if you combine these two, this is th this result and this result, so let me scroll up. If you, res if you combine these two results together, this is how you write, x has to be less than or equal to 4, this and this are combined together, or x has to be greater than or equal to negative 2. So this is the solution, this is a range of uh, solution. So we, in other words, you can say when x is between negative 4 and 4, including negative 2 and 4, the function is going to be, the function is going to be less than or equal to 0. Or for this, you can say when for any value of x between negative 4 and 4, including negative 4 and 4, this is going to be always less than 5. Okay. So let's let's test this. So let us take any value. So uh, okay. So let me use a table menu so that. Oops. So let me show you on a table. If you go to table, if you have a graphic calculator, go to table. Okay, and type in this equation. Bracket x plus one bracket. Always good to check and test your answer. Okay, and uh, let me set from, say, minus 3 to, um, I'm setting minus 3 to 5 at a uh, step of 0 0.5 and see what happens. Okay, when it's minus 3, it is what? It is, uh, it is greater than 5. Can you see? Okay, it's 12. When it's minus 2.5, it is? 8.25. When it's minus 2, it's exactly 5. Okay. So our condition is when is this 5 or less than 5? Can you see? When it's minus 1.5, it is 2.5, 0. And when you come to, okay, is less than 5. Okay. So these are all values. So if you go up to 5, when it's 4, it's exactly 5. Can you see? And when it is 4.5, it is 8.25. So any value of x between minus 2 and 4, including minus 2, including minus 2 and 4, satisfy this equation. Now I want you to do these two questions. You've got x squared plus 5x minus 20 is greater than or equal to 0. These are the two answers. And for this question, these are the two answers. Try to do this yourself and confirm and check graphically and also in a table form if you have a graphic calculator whether you get this answers.